how to add multiple languages in Shopify step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can take your Shopify store from a one language store to a multilingual or bilingual store. So this is something a lot of us do think about, but can seem a bit intimidating and overwhelming to do. But converting your Shopify store from a single store with a singular language to a multilingual or bilingual store is not as difficult as it might seem. Shopify has its own built-in integration available for you to do so, as well as third-party applications that can help you in translating your store from one language into another. However, keep in mind that SEO is going to be slightly compromised when you're translating from one language to another. So if you have things such as your metadata or any type of file descriptives, those are not going to be the same when it comes to translations. Your SEO can be pretty compromised on the translated version, but your original version is going to remain the same. So you don't have to worry too much about that, but it is something to keep in consideration. Now let's move on towards the two basic ways that you can add different languages onto your Shopify store. So the first way to do this is to simply go into settings on your bottom left. Once you've opened up your Shopify settings, you're going to scroll down on the left and you will see a section at the bottom which says languages. Click on this panel over here, and once you do that, you will see your published languages. You will see you can change it to your default, and you also can localize a language. Below that, you have your Shopify Translate and Adapt application. So if you click on Add a Language over here, you will see different languages that you can add. So let's say I want to add Spanish. So I'm just going to search for Spanish over here, like this, and then I can click on Add. Now, this will automatically install the Shopify Translate and Adapt application like this. And you can even click on install over here to complete the installation of this application. So you guys will see that the Translate and Adapt application is going to help you in localizing your content. So first off, once we have installed this application, on the top, we will see different ways to translate. So you can click on the collections and then it will show me all of the content across the collections and you will see it says home page. The title is home page in English. What should it be in Spanish? So I'm going to write HP. I'm just going to write a shortened version of everything. But another really important thing to do is although you can add custom translations into every element, such as your store metadata, cookie banners, and much, much more, you can also click on the auto translate option on the top right. This is powered by Google Translate, so this might not be as accurate as you might think, but can still serve the purpose of translating into another language. Now, keep in mind that you're going to use an automatic translation and you can use your two free languages. And after that, you can also, you know, after that, you can purchase a premium version of Shopify to add more than two auto translated languages. So click on translate over here. Now, after the translation is complete, this might take several hours. So this is going to um, be something that is going to take a lot of time. But it's not something that is too difficult. It's not something that I would say is going to be super incorrect. For a lot of your basic translations, it's going to be pretty spot on. So you don't have to worry about that at all. But still, it can be an application that is not going to fulfill your translation needs. So if you want to fulfill your translation needs completely, you can click on settings on the bottom left and do this with a third party application. So the way to do that is to go back into your Shopify settings and open up apps and sales channels. Once you open up your apps and sales channels, you're going to open up your Shopify app store. Now, once you open up your Shopify app store, search for translation. And once you search for translation, you will find different third party providers that are going to be able to help you in translating your Shopify store. 
Now, this includes a new AI language translator, and you can see that it also has a currency converter. Now, I have personally used Weglot. Weglot is really easy and simple to use, especially when you are selling things like apparel and accessories, and it works with the Dawn theme as well. So you can just click on install over here. And once you click on install, you will be led to the installation page where you're going to click on install once more. And once you click on install once more, this will open up the Shopify dashboard with your Weglot translation application installed. Now on the left, you can pin this to your navigation panel to make it easier to access. This. Now that we have our application ready, it's time to get started with translations. So, one thing to note is that Weglot is SEO optimized, so it follows Google multilingual SEO best practices. So, it does, you know, try its own best to make sure that the translations that it is doing are going to be accurate for your store. Uh, although it has tried its best, keep in mind, it still can make potential errors, but still it is a better alternative to use. But now I would also suggest because of the new introduction of AI-based translators, such as the Transy AI Language Translate, to also use those as well. Because these AI-based language models are really well in understanding a uh, language and picking out the terminologies that you have used. So if you go on ahead and choose one application to translate and you find that your you know, auto translate works fine with that particular application, you don't have to go for any other you know, application. But if you find that the applications that you are using are not enough to add multiple different languages, especially if you want to add more than like three or four, you can use each individual plugin for one language. So I could use the Shopify Translate and Adapt for two languages, then I can use the Transkinny AI for one language. You can see it adds one language for free, and we can use the Weglot Translator for one translation as well. And in that way, you can add multiple different languages all for free on your Shopify store. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.